how to create a gradient ribbon effect like this in Affinity Photo. Go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Create a rectangle and drag like that. Fill it with a gradient. So just go up here, click here and go to the swatches and you can fill it with all kinds of different gradients depending on the gradients you've got. So I'm going to go with something like that. Now go to the Move tool, select that and once you've got that, you can then press return or enter on the keyboard. And this panel will appear. It will only appear with the move tool. So then go here to vertical and you can modify that. But to make it easier, go to duplicate first, set it to one and then vertical. And you can see as you do that, how it's actually lining on top. To make it even easier, I would suggest go for 180 in the rotation just makes it so more noticeable. Yes, I've got a slight overlap there. Even easier probably would be to actually make certain the rectangle is a particular size before you start, say 30, so you know exactly the size you've got to use. So vertical, increase it, decrease it, and make certain there's no gap. And then you could click OK, but I'm going to go for increase this to maybe something like that. Oh, there is a slight gap. I can just about make it out, so 27. But you don't want to overlap because that also brings in some slight misalignment. So click OK. And then drag over all of them. Again, you've still got the move tool still selected. And you can drag that down and resize it like that. You could, if you want, right click and group. You've still got the move tool selected, so you can press return, enter. This panel will appear again. This time, use horizontal. So duplicate, set it to one, and then just go horizontal. And as you do that, you can see then it will be dragged across again. Just makes an, if you know the dimensions, makes it much easier than doing it this way, just by eye. And then you go to rotation and set it to 180. 180 will flip it again. And number of copies, you can see, now there looks like a gap, just slightly. So distance, make that 78. In this case, obviously, will vary depending on the size of your rectangles. And then you can click OK. And now you've got your design. And you can drag over there. There doesn't appear to be any misalignment. However, that does create some interesting effects. So if you want, just slightly overlap the various rectangles and then apply the effects. Well, also what you can do, again, you can group them. So I'll just go up here, click group, or just right click and group. With this move tool selected, you can move it around, reposition. You can also go up here and you'll notice the fill, weirdly, has got nothing in. Well, you can still click here and go to the swatches and select a swatch. And as you do that, you can change the swatch and create all kinds of different designs very quickly like that. And maybe that one, that looks pretty good. So with that, you can then resize it, modify it in many different ways, as well as apply effects. So with this, just go up to filters, then go down here to distort and deform. Now, as soon as you do that, this will no longer be a vector design. So it's straight away, it will turn into a pixel layer. So deform, click that, and then just go up here and use similarity. Similarity, you can use obviously the other one, rigid, rigid as well, it's a possible, but then add some pins. Just simply add a number of pins and then you can simply drag that off in that direction, drag in that direction, maybe click again, drag it off there to create all kinds of unique designs very, very quickly. And you can add as many pins as you want, like that and there, and click apply. And there you have it, very quick, weird and wonderful ribbon design in Affinity Photo.